I'm going to use a profanity that used to make me really anxious back in the good old AutoCAD days. Explode. I'm sure the people working on this update made a conscious decision to avoid that word, but that's basically what we're doing. So let's do just that. Let's add a fitting, then break that sucker. In Revit, let's start a new model using the structural template. Let's model a couple beams, like we've been doing. Set your detail level to fine. Change it to hidden line. Slow to clip. Click OK. Select connection. Clip angle. By holding down the control key, select both of these beams. Hit enter. There it is. Now let's break it. Click the break button. That's a cool connection. Now what we see is that Model Z's is all one part, but we'll see it essentially explodes it, but at least it keeps the intelligence of these items. So these are still bolts and we can select them. We can still change them, but everything else has become detached and independent of one another. That was a quick, easy video, but that's how you essentially explode a fitting.